Defense Secretary William Cohen said the inspectors had better be allowed to do their job, and that means oh, total access. Them. Saddam Hussein has ruled 63 <laughs> sites off-limits. Those cannot be off-limits. And uh, once the inspectors start to uh, push to get access to these particular sites, then they find they're either delayed or simply obstructed and refused. Uh, that cannot continue, and so that's why it's important to have complete access. You notice how Fred will just talk when you're talking? <laughs> you no, know, I was talking. I was asking Conti if she went to Taos to ski. And I was asked, I just asked her how her trip was. Take the phone away from your mouth, you <laughs> old fool, so you're not interrupting Charles when he's trying to do the news. <laughs> what did you do this weekend, Diane? Go ahead, Charles. Uh, my jerk brother. And on the phone with us now is Mark from Milwaukee. Good morning, Mark. Hi, hi, miss. It's Mark from Milwaukee again. Of course, I'm not from Milwaukee anymore. I was only in Milwaukee for a little while before my mother moved here, and I had to come with her because I live in her basement. Yeah. That is, that's what the court said I had to have happen ever since they found that head in my freezer. But, you know, I'm really worried about you because this is that festive holiday season time of year, and I know that in the past you've never had anywhere to go on Thanksgiving. That is before Deirdre, of course, but I know it can be a drag for a person to cook a holiday meal for just two people. I mean, even when it's just an organic tofu and kale loaf, it's an awful lot of work for just two people, so if I may be so bold, I would like to invite you over to my house for Thanksgiving. Well, actually, it's not my house. It's my mother's house, but I live in the basement, and she won't really bother us as long as I give her a couple of extra doses of her medication. No, sir, she won't be bothering us at all. <laughs> and then we could just relax and just enjoy the day together, you, me, and Deirdre, without all the annoying interruptions. No, Mom, I can't give you a bath right now. I'm busy. I'd love to cook for you both, even though I know Deirdre's a vegetarian. She's never had my cooking. I mean, I make a turkey like nobody else. It's a big old turkey, and it's got plenty of white meat on it. Don't you, turkey? Don't you? Plenty of white meat. Answer me. I'm sorry I didn't mean to snap by man, but the turkey's a little unconscious at the moment. I guess I must have hit him a little too hard when he came down to read the meter. But as soon as I'm done stuffing him, he's going right in the oven. Because he weighs about 200 pounds, so it'll take a few days for him to cook. <laughs> Gotta make sure he's cooked. Wouldn't want anybody getting sick. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, say hi to my brother Fred. Oh, I can't believe I'm actually talking to Fred and Don. It's like I have a giant roll of search. It's two, two, two witnesses at once. <laughs> You know, Fred, I want to be just like your brother, but I want to be just like great. you, too. I haven't cut my hair or shaved in two years, and I bought a couple of blow-up dolls. Cut your throat, not your hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fred, can I ask a question? No. Are your blow-up dolls really annoying? Because mine never shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's 18 after the hour here on the Iverson Morning Program. Fred with his football picks coming up, and we're going to talk. Well... I picked the Martha's Vineyard uh, Nantucket game correctly. Uh, Martha's Vineyard <laughs> won 21 to eight over Nantucket in their 50th meeting. I'm very proud of picking that game correct. Right. And that's when football matters in high school. It doesn't you know the, well, when you get in the pros? It matters no more. You know, it's just doesn't mean as much as it does in high school. So I'm very proud of picking this Martha's Vineyard game correctly. Hmm. Okay. We that we are that with the my, we are in the state we're in with this Automotive Express. Is because we have an idiot like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I said I, I love Elway. I, I love the Broncos. Now he's got uh, he's got Hispanics out there running around with their signs, uh, <laughs> sc screaming about nothing. By the way, my brother, but it's about half serious. I mean, uh, they're they're boycotting something that 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 they're all that doesn't already doesn't do any business in Santa Fe anyway. Over a silly over issue. An, over a silly issue. Yeah. Uh, half of my brother's employees are Hispanics. And half of them. Uh, case closed. So oh, that, uh, case closed. Yeah. Isn't that true, friend? <clears throat> Martha's Vineyard 21, Nantucket 8. <laughs> <laughs> 23 to late hour. <laughs> uh.